Hello and welcome to second video on content-based recommendation system. I'm Pratik and in this video we'll again be using movie lens data. We'll only be using genre attribute for the recommendation, but this time we will try different vectorizers like bag of words and TFIDF. In general, using different vectorizers should impact the performance of the model, but in our case, since we are only using um, one attribute, which is genre column, it will barely impact the performance. So before I dive into the coding, let me quickly show you the maths behind what we are going to do. <clears throat> so we have multiple movies. For example, let me take uh, movie one, movie two, movie three, and uh, all these movies have different kind of action uh, genres like this might have action and drama this might just be drama this could be comedy and so on so when we use the vec vectorizer like bag of words now what bag of words does is basically it creates uh, it counts you know all those uh, uh, the, the different kind of genres which are there so for first one it would be uh, like action would be counted as one uh, then drama would be counted as one uh, then for mo this would be for movie one for movie two it would be drama equals to one and so on so ultimately from this after like ca calculating all this there is another data frame which is created which is like movie one movie two movie three and then all other all the genres which are there genre one genre two genre three genre four genre five genre and all the type of genres we have like 19 or 20 genres here so uh, so let's say genre one is action so uh, for movie one action would be one and drama would be one and all other genres would be zero for the other one let's say g3 is drama so it would be one and all other would be zero so a data frame like this would be created and using this uh, we will uh, then you know plot this on a multi-dimension graph and then calculate the angle the cosine theta between two movies to calculate so just to give you an example you know um, now i cannot uh, demonstrate more than two dimension on a paper so i'll take three movies movie one movie two and movie three and uh, let's say there are two genres action and comedy now movie one is a action and comedy movie so it will be given as one one Movie 2 is an action movie, but there is no comedy in that. And movie 3 is, let's say, uh, it's not an action movie, but it's just a comedy movie. So when we try to plot this on a graph, um, this would be 1, this would be 1, and let's say this is action, x-axis is action, and y-axis is comedy. Now if I want to pl plot M1, M1 would be somewhere here. If I want to plot M2, which is just action, so this would be M2 and this would be M3. Now, if I have to calculate cosine similarity between movie 2 and movie 3, I will see, look at this angle. And this angle, angle between movie 2 and movie 3 is basically 90 degrees. So cos of 90 degree is equal to 0 which means that there is no similarity between movie 2 and movie 3 and which is right right uh, because movie 3 is a comedy movie movie 2 is an action movie so it doesn't really seem to have any similarity between them but if i look at movie 1 and movie 3 so movie 1 is 1 comma 1 which which makes this angle as 45 degrees and cos 45 degree is almost 0 0.7 so they do have similarity and you can see that you know movie 3 uh, has a uh, comedy genre and movie 1 also has com comedy genre so they have something in similar which is they both are comedy movies so that is how cosine similarity is ultimately calculated and then whatever movie we search for let's say i search for um, the prestige then it is going to see what are the other type of movies which are similar to that and then show me um, this thing. So as we increase the data here, the complexity is going to increase, the number of dimensions are going to increase and uh, and you know the similarity or the recommendation is going to be much better. So now, since we have looked at the maths now, now let's deep uh, dive into the coding part of this thing. 
So uh, I have already connected my Collab file to the Google Drive and given the required permissions. I've also imported the required packages here. Now let me just import the data frame. So, so my data. So I'm going to use the 10 million data set here, which has around 10,000 movies. Uh, so this is what my data frame looks like. The next step, what I'm going to do is create list of titles and genres. And since the genre is separated, so I will make sure that I split the genre. Next, I'm going to create a function um, for calculating the bag of words. So when we have a lot of features or a lot of textual data, then we can use packages like GenSim. But since this is a very basic um, uh, basic uh, program that I'm writing here, basic recommendation system, I'm just going to use uh, create my own bag of word function. Next, I'm going to calculate bag of words here. So this is what my bags of words look like. Um, so it basically goes to every movie and sees, okay, there is one drama, so it will count drama as one. In the next movie, there is one crime and one drama, then musical one. And then from this, we create a genre data frame. <clears throat> so this is what genre data frame looks like. So all the, so Jumanji has like adventure, children and fantasy has uh, genre and all other are zeros. Uh, so the downside of this basic recommendation system is there are going to be lot other movies which are going to be very similar. Uh, like they will also have adventure, children and fantasy as their genre, then it would be recommended as one, like the cosine similarity score of that compared to Jumanji would be one. So yeah, we'll have a lot of movies with a cosine similarity score of one. Then we create the cosine similarity matrix and ultimately we create the similarity data frame, which we are going to use to give our recommendation. The next step would be to just ask the user to input the movie. And as we did for the last video, I'm just going to search for the movie, The Prestige from 2006. And then I'm going to show the recommendations. So these are the top 10 recommendations uh, and you see all these scores are one. So let me see top 50 recommendations. So there are almost 30 to 40 movies, you know, which has a recommendation of one. Um, and uh, I, I mean, it's like a basic recommendation. I don't see any, you know, any movies which so I'm using IMDb as a reference and when I search for the prestige on IMDb, it gives me similar movies in similar movies, movies like Inception, Memento, Departed, Seven, Fight Club, etc. And I don't see any of those movies in this list at least. So it's like, okay, not the best, but let me now, so I'm not going to write line by line for TF-IDF vectorizer, I've already made this code and I'm just going to copy paste it and we'll just see you know how um, so the data set is 25 million there I'll just reduce that to 10 million and let's see using TF IDF model how well our recommendation system performs and if there is any kind of improvement so the movie would again be the prestige and then I would just print uh, so let me just try to print 50 movies uh, the last minute the machinist okay these movies are kind of similar to the prestige but not that similar the prestige is also there and then other movies so this recommendation is little better than bag of words and uh, a little better than the binary feature matrix that we used in the last video but still we are not getting that good recommendation and i don't see any of the movies which we have from imdb in this list so yeah definitely this is not the best but in the next video what we are going to do is uh, we'll use genome tax data 
uh, along with the genre and that should definitely improve the recommendation system for us so that would be all for this video and uh, i'll see you in the next video till then happy learning